Shalom, shalom, everyone. So this class is on the Zer Shimshon, uh, Parshat Vayelach. And the topic of this class is, can there be too much forgiveness? So this class is dedicated for the neshama of um, the Zer Shimshon, Rabbi Shimshon Chaim Nachmani, Ben Rabbi Nachman, Michal Nachmani. For the neshama of um, Yosef Ben Nuriel, and for the neshama of Michal ben Meir. So let's begin. So this upcoming week is um, what's called Shabbat Shuva, the Shabbat of repentance. And this Shabbat is between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. And during this Shabbat, we read a verse from the book of Isaiah, which states, I'll read it in English. Seek Hashem when he can be found. Call upon him when he is near. Let the wicked one forsake his way, and the iniquitous man his thoughts. Let him return to Hashem, and he will show him mercy to our God, for he is abundantly forgiving. End quotes. So our sages tell us that this pasuk about seeking Hashem where he can be found refers to this time period, the time period where we're doing teshuva, to this time period of shuva, and the time period between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, the 10 days of repentance. So the Zerah Shimshon, um, going back to the verse, he, he brings down a question from the Yefet Tor, um, which asks, What do the words, for he is abundantly forgiving, mean? Is there such a thing as too much forgiveness? Does it necessarily mean that if a person does 10 sins, does he need to do 10 sets of forgiveness? So if someone breaks Shabbat, uh, doesn't eat kosher, eats ham sandwich, mixes milk and meat, does he? Will he need to do ten times? Will he need to ask for forgiveness ten times? And the answer is no. Doing teshuva once will result in Hashem forgiving the person for everything. So what is the abundant forgiveness, which it talks about in the verse, coming to tell us? The Ramah from Fano writes that someone who commits a sin makes two mistakes. The first mistake is the wrong act he committed, and the second mistake is the waste of time it entailed for that person, where he could have been doing a good deed with the time that he used for the wrongful purposes. Now here is the problem. A person can't repent for the wasted opportunity for one simple reason. Since he wasn't thinking about doing a good deed or a mitzvah, when the Yetzer Hara or the evil inclination came along, he has no idea what he would have been doing during that time had he not used it for sinning. Yet, despite not being able to undo this, Hashem forgives him for this as well. So that's why the Pasuk makes a point of saying that Hashem is abundantly forgiving. Not only does Hashem forgive this person for the actual sin he did, for which he did repent sincerely, but he is also willing to forgive him for not doing the good deeds or the mitzvot that he could have been doing at the time he committed the sin. And to sum this all up, this is what the Pasuk means when it talks about forgiveness, about the extra forgiveness. It's forgiveness for the actual sin and also for forgiveness for what could have been done instead. want to wish you all a Shana Tova, happy, healthy, sweet new year. Until next week, Shabbat Shalom.